All right, hey guys. So if you don't know me, my name is Blue Latham. I'm a sophomore at the University of Tennessee, Knoxville, majoring in kinesiology, and I am currently studying abroad. I just finished my first six weeks studying abroad in Rome, Italy, and about four days ago, I moved to London, England. Since moving to Europe, I've thought about a couple things I wish I would have done better, a couple things I wish I would have known about. So I thought now that I've again moved to a different country that this is a perfect time to share that with you all. So first of all, when you are finally going abroad, you want to make sure you're able to charge your phone and everything. That's something I actually did correctly and I'm very happy I did. I picked up this adapter at Walmart for about $10, give or take a dollar. Um, and it works for the UK, it works for United States plugs, uh, Australian plugs, um, and also Italy plugs, which are really goofy, um, super strange. So definitely recommend picking up some sort of adapter that gets probably all three, because while you're in Europe, you're probably not just gonna stay wherever you are. The whole point of being in Europe, at least in my mind, is to travel, explore, um, and go on as many adventures as you can. So getting something that does all of that definitely a good idea would absolutely recommend the second thing i'm going to recommend to you guys is a solid pair of headphones these have been an absolute lifesaver for me i got them just before heading to europe and thank goodness i did that 15 hour flight ride i just played rain sounds and fell asleep it was so peaceful and much needed um, keeping up on your sleep on your way over here is huge for when you get there because you're only in europe for so long or wherever you're going so make sure you're making the best of your time but on top of just the flight, bus rides, trains, whatever you're doing to get around, um, it's nice to be able to put these on and kind of not completely zone out because you want to make sure you're being aware and being safe. But um, sometimes your transits can be pretty long. Like here in London, I have about a 45 minute bus or a 35 minute train. So having them on and listening to music or listening to a podcast, watching Netflix, whatever you want to do, um, it makes that entire experience just that little bit more enjoyable. But like I said, make sure you're being smart with it. Um, be aware of your surroundings and don't just completely zone out. You might be like, oh my gosh, Blue, you're a traveling genius. Two phenomenal tips. How did you get it all right? Well, I didn't. And that leads me into the third point is I wish I would have come to Europe with my own towel. I just picked one up. But I found out pretty quickly into my time in Rome while I spent traveling to Czech Republic, um, other parts of Italy or southern islands like Malta, that hostels and sometimes Airbnbs don't give you towels. I had a really goofy experience while I was in the Czech Republic. They didn't even rent towels at the hostel, so I showered, I got out, and I was like, oh shoot, how am I gonna dry off? So I grabbed the hair dryer, tried to blow myself off, but they have timers on them, so you can't do that. So I just kind of sat in there and air dried. But if I could have gone back and changed anything from coming to the United States over to Europe, is I would have brought myself a really nice towel. So if you can fit it, if you have the space, it's under your weight limit, definitely bring a towel. If not, I'm sure you can pick one up. I've had a bit of a hard time finding stuff like that like this i haven't found anywhere in europe which has been kind of a pain in the butt um, i know you can find towels if you look hard enough but yeah those are my three tips for starting to study abroad there's of course so much more to studying abroad but those were three things that i found pretty much essential throughout everywhere i went and everything i'm doing so of course there's a lot more stuff to studying abroad but those are the three things that i found pretty much essential to everything i've done everything i'm doing and everything i want to do so i hope that that was a little bit helpful and that you can learn from my mistakes especially the towel thing that's been a total bummer a lot of the time in conclusion make sure you have an adapter that suits all types of outlets you're going to be using get yourself a nice pair of headphones to avoid crazy distractions, loud noises, make your alone time a little more peaceful, and then make sure you have that towel. But that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching and good luck on your own adventures.